Hi, my name is Jody Wenzel. I'm a technical sales engineer here at Defelsco. I'd like to welcome you to our second in a series of webinars. Today we will be talking about the Positector SST Soluble Salt Tester. If you missed our first webinar on the PosiTest LPE, don't worry, it's recorded and saved on our website. You should also be able to find a link to it in the invitation we sent out for this particular webinar. Before we really get into operation and everything else, I just want to say if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to type them into the GoToMeeting chat box. At the end of this presentation, I will attempt to answer as many as possible. If at some point during the presentation, you don't understand something or you miss something and you want me to repeat it, type a question in. I have Hannah helping me behind the controls here and she will attempt to flag me down and stop me and I'll go over anything again that, uh, that anybody asks. If I miss your comment, don't worry, we will circle back to it at the end of the presentation and like I said, try to get to as many as possible. So, before we get into the operation of the gauge itself, let's talk a little bit about background. Before the application of protective coatings, steel substrates must be carefully cleaned. The substrate should then be tested to determine if the level of salt contamination is acceptable or not. Soluble salts are not visible to the naked eye. If allowed to remain on the substrate in sufficient quantities, they can draw moisture through the coating, causing premature coating failure from osmotic blistering or disbondment. The test for water-soluble salts is done in accordance with ISO 8502-9. As a part of that method, the extraction of soluble salt contaminants for analysis is performed in accordance with ISO 8502-6, the Bresley method. So before we start talking about the function and operation of the gauge itself, let's take a step back and talk about what is the Bresley method. In simple terms, the Bresley method is taking a patch and creating a small isolated cell on the surface of steel. Liquid water is injected into that cell, agitated to dissolve any, sal any salts that might be present on the surface, extracted, and then placed into a conductivity meter to determine the conductivity. Based on that conductivity, the density of salt on the surface can be determined. To illustrate that a little more clearly, we have a little graphic here that we're going to show you just to kind of walk you through this process. So you can see water is injected into a cell, it's then extracted after being agitated, inserted into a meter, and a result is displayed. So let's talk about the Positector SST. This is the Positector SST right here. You can see displayed on the screen, we have a temperature. This zero right here is actually your conductivity, and there's no solution in the gauge right now, so there's no conductivity being registered. You can see up top here we have a one, two, three. These are the steps of the Bresley method, and the gauge will walk you through each one. Now, as I explained, the Bresley method essentially is measuring conductivity of the solution that's placed in the gauge. So this gauge is really a conductivity meter. If you were performing an analysis that was not related to the Bresley method and you wanted to use the gauge as a conductivity meter, that can be accomplished by going into the gauge memory or gauge menu to setup, down to Bresley mode unchecking the box, and now you can see I just have a conductivity meter. Temperature is displayed, conductivity is displayed. To go back to the Bresley method, we go to setup, check Bresley mode, and when I back out, I'm right back to the Bresley method screen. There is a shortcut for this. If we're on the Bresley method screen and we press the up button, it jumps right to a conductivity meter. I press it again, and I'm right back to the Bresley method. So we're gonna go through a complete test in a little while. We have some other features we wanna discuss first, but first I just wanted to state that the Positector SST does come with a long form certificate of calibration included at no additional charge. So before we get into an actual demonstration of the gauge, let's talk about some of the patch options that are available. As you can see behind me, these are the three pass, patch options that are available with the Positector SST. The first one we'd like to talk about is Defelsco's new Posi patch. The Posi patch is a revolutionary new way to perform the Bresley method test. It involves this silicone patch, which is actually a reusable Bresley method patch. So you can perform a test, wash this off, put it back in the ring, perform another test. There is no adhesive involved with the Posi patch. It uses this metal magnetic ring, and you can see the magnets on the back of it there, 
to hold it onto the surface so that when it's removed, there's nothing left behind. Let me show you what I mean. So I have a metallic surface here. I have my patch and my ring. Clamp it on, perform the test. When I'm done, pull it off. There's nothing left behind. Now, as I said, I'm going to go through a complete test with the Posi patch in a minute because this is, uh, uh, it's really impressive how it works. But before we do that, let's talk about the other patch options. The first one is Defelsco's adhesive patch. This is a polyurethane patch. Um, it has a low tack adhesive to allow for easy removal from the surface. And this is a lower cost option than many other standard Bresley method patches out there with the same functionality. Next, we have our latex patch. Latex patch is also an adhesive patch similar to the Defelsco patch. This patch is for those customers that need to adhere to the strict 15 milliliter test solutions that is uh, in the appendix of the ISO standard. The latex patch also has a low tack adhesive and it has a tear guard built into it to help prevent tearing when it's removed from the surface. Now, to illustrate the features of the adhesive patches, we have a quick video here we're going to show you that does a little better job than me just talking about them. So we're going to play that quick and then I'm going to perform a test with the posi patch to show you how that works. So we have here the two patches that I was just discussing and a competitive patch. We can see here the green layer represents the tear guard on the latex patch. It is positioned between the foam and the adhesive so that when the patch is removed, it prevents it from tearing. We can see here a competitive patch placed on a surface. When you try to pull it off, a lot of times it can rip, tear, leave pieces of foam and adhesive behind. This can cause the operator to have to re-clean the surface or perhaps even re-blast it if, the, if it leaves too much behind. The Defelsco latex patch, as you can see, tears off easily. Nothing's left behind and the patch did not did not rip. The Defelsco patch works the same way. Okay, so let's get into the operation and how the posi patch works. Now, I have here just a metal surface. This is a posi patch, and you can see it's just a, a silicone patch. Now, if you can see on there, use this pointer here, there's three little arrows, okay? Those arrows are similar to the arrows on the magnetic ring. So on, if you look here, there's arrows on the ring. If I flip the ring over, there's a little dot indicating where those arrows correspond to. And on the side, you can see a hole. So I take the posi patch, and I line my arrows up with that mark, just like that. I then take the ring, put it on the surface. And that is a very strong magnet. So um, it, you don't worry about that, it, it adheres really tightly. So, how do we perform the test? These are the Posi Patch kits right here. Included in each kit, you're going to have deionized water and a conductivity standard. The conductivity standard is used to check the accuracy of your gauge. So if you want to check the gauge at any time, you can use this, and this is a known standard. The deionized water is used to perform the test. So, I take my little cup that comes with the kit. I'm going to put some water in there. Now, one of the main advantages of the posi patch is that it does not require the use of a sharp dispensing tip or a needle, essentially. So we have the syringe here with a plastic dispensing tip. So what I'm going to do, see if I can do this on camera here. I'm going to draw three milliliters of solution into my syringe. Okay. Now, as I stated before, the Positector SST works on a one, two, three step process. The first step we need to do is to determine what the background conductivity of my testing solution is. Because even though it's deionized water, it's going to have a conductivity to it. So the first step, we take some of the solution and we place it into the test chamber. Okay, now you'll see my zero changed to a one and now to a two. So the background conductivity of my solution is two microsiemens per centimeter. Once that number stabilized, I push the plus button and you'll see I've now jumped to step two. 
it has saved my background concentration of two. I'm going to extract this solution back out. And now we're going to insert into the posi patch. And just see how easy that was. The little hole in the side of the ring, you slide the plastic dispensing tip in, and you can see the tip inside the patch there. When I push the plus button again, it's going to start the timer. The ISO standard says that the timer, you must agitate the liquid in the patch four times, draw it in and out with the syringe four times for a total time of two minutes. Now, I'm not going to do two full minutes here just because for time's sake, but I'll do a few just so you get the idea. So I'm going to push plus. You see my timer starts. And here we go. So I'm going to start pushing liquid in. You can see that patch filling up. Now, one of the main advantages of the posi patch, and you'll notice right around the edge here, those little, little holes there, the top of the posi patch is an air permeable membrane. So a lot of times with your adhesive patches, when you inject the liquid, you get air bubbles and you've got to chase them around with a syringe. Not so with the posi patch. The air is forced out through that air permeable membrane and you don't have to do that. So let's give this a few few back and forth here just to make sure we get a good good sample. All right. One more. Okay. So, let's pretend I did that for 2 minutes just to to get on with this. So I withdraw the syringe. Notice no leak. I'm going to put the liquid back into my test chamber. Now, see immediately my conductivity starts going up. That's measuring the conductivity of that solution that I just took out of that, that patch. So it stabilized at 42. I push plus to set it. My test is complete. If you remember, my background conductivity was 2. So what did the gauge display? The delta conductivity is 40. So it's my 42 minus my background 2. Also displays the test time the temperature at which the test was taken, and this is a calculated value of the surface density of salt. So when this saves in the gauge's memory, this is the data set that's going to be saved. All right, now here's the best part. Take the patch off. There's a little bit of liquid left behind that can be brushed off the surface. Just do that. But you'll notice no adhesive, no foam, nothing left behind. Take the posi patch. We rinse it off, we put it back in our magnetic ring, and I'm ready to do another test. No throwaway, nothing disposable, the patch is reusable, and can keep being reused over and over again. Now you can imagine the cost saving associated with using a reusable patch must be pretty significant. So let's take a look at what that impact actually is. Okay, so here we have a chart showing some costs per test of the different patch options. I'm going to try and uh, explain this as best I can. So here we go. The, pos the Felisco Posi Patch, we show over there $1 per test. Now what we've done, the Posi Patch costs $10 per patch. We've assumed that you're going to get at least 10 tests per patch. Now I can tell you this is a very conservative estimate. Um, we have customers and dealers that get dozens of tests per patch. We had one customer that uh, contacted us after purchasing and told us that he had a job where he performed 750 readings on a pipeline and he used a total of three patches for the entire job. Now that's a huge success right there and uh, you can imagine his cost per test is significantly lower than this. But let's just use 10 for an example. So if you get 10 tests out of a posi patch, it drops your cost to a dollar. See that right here. Now, let's take a look at the other patch options. The Defelisco patch, as we talked about before. As I mentioned, this is a more economical option compared to some of the other patches on the market. You can see that here. The Defelisco patch is about $3 compared to some other competitive patches. And this is an average that we found on the marketplace. Works out to about $3.96. So the Defelisco patch on average is about a dollar cheaper. If you move down to the latex patches, our Defelisco latex patch works out to about $3.80 a patch as opposed to the competitive latex patches on the market that range from $5 to $7. So you can see clearly when you break it down like this, the posi patch is a substantial cost savings. So we've talked about the gauge, we've talked about the patches, 
Now, how do these come packaged? How can you purchase these from DeFelsco? All right. This is the chart that's found on our website. And I'm gonna do my best to go through this because we get a lot of questions on how do you order these? What are the order codes? So, first option right here, gauge and probe only. If you want to purchase just the SST probe, so this is the Positector SST probe. You say you have a gauge body already, you wanna add this to your existing gauge body. If you do have an existing gauge body, if it's a standard Positector body, it must have a color screen. If it's an advanced gauge body, it must have a serial number of 730,000 or greater. So something to keep in mind if you're just purchasing the probe. But the order code for just the probe is right here, PRB SST. Now, if you wanted to get the probe and a standard gauge body, that's SST1. The advanced gauge body is SST3. Now, even though these are not kits per se, they will all come with the conductivity standards so you can check the operation. But let's talk about the kits now. The Posi Patch kit. Um, so this is gonna be a hard shell case and you can see a graphic of that right here. So it's a hard shell case, the probe, the magnetic ring, Posi Patches, conductivity standard, deionized water, syringe, plastic dispensing tips, and some test cups. The Posi Patches come in a little container, looks like this. And there's five of them in there, you can see right there. So if you wanna buy the kit with just the probe, that's gonna be your SST kit P. If you wanna add a standard gauge body to it, SST kit P1 and the advanced gauge body SST kit P3. And you can see there's a listing of the accessories that come with it. So if you want to look at the DeFelsco patch kit, same accessories, same hard shell case, order codes are right here. So just the probe, SST kit D, SST kit D1 with the standard gauge body, SST kit D3 with the advanced gauge body. The primary difference, instead of the posi patches, it's gonna come with a box of DeFelsco patches, which look, if I can get them out here, just like that. You're gonna get 25 of them in the box. And instead of the plastic dispensing tip, you're going to get the metal sharp dispensing tip uh, because these do require that. Moving on to the latex patch kit, uh, very similar codes. So if we're going to latex patch, it's gonna be SST kit L, that's only the probe. Add the standard gauge body, SST kit L1. Okay, L3 is the advanced gauge body. And again, instead of the posi patches or the DeFelsco patches, it would come with the latex patches, which come in a little bag like this. Okay, one more important accessory to talk about. The magnetic ring, as we showed you with the test, is a rigid magnetic ring, okay? And a lot of times people are concerned, well, what if I'm measuring on pipes? What if I need a curved surface? And that's where the adhesive patches typically come in. But people wanna be able to use the posi patches and they want the reusable option. So we have created the flexible magnetic ring. This is exactly the same functionality as the rigid metal ring, but this is made out of silicone. See the magnets on the back there? Here's a piece of cut pipe, put it on, wrap it around, and you can see that contour is right to the, the pipe there. Same thing on the inside. You can see that right there. Test is performed exactly the same way. The flexible ring will work on pipes of an OD of four inches or greater, or an ID of four and a half inches or greater. The flexible ring is available as an accessory item and can be added to any kit that's purchased. So we've talked about some background. We've talked about patch options. We've talked about the gauge function. We've talked about some kit options. Uh, we're going to take a moment here to look through some questions and comments that have come in and uh, I'll be right back in a few minutes to answer as many of those as I can. Just give me a minute to compile them. In the meantime, we have a couple slides here that show you some of the kits in more detail. So stick around and we'll be right back.
OK, we're back. We have a few questions we're going to address here that came in. And uh, if you do have any questions later on, my contact information will be provided on the following slide. If you want to send me an email directly, or you can contact any of us here at Defelsco. Our technical sales email is techsale at Defelsco. And of course, you can always give us a call here. We'll be happy to help. So let's take a couple questions here. Um, does the Posi Tector SST measure the concentration of individual salt ions? It does not. The Posi Tector SST is a conductivity meter, and it's going to measure the concentration of all the ions together, the, the conductivity of all ions together. It does not separate the ions into individual uh, categories. Uh, can the Posi Tector SST probe be immersed in the fluid it is testing? Uh, the answer is yes. The white part of the probe here can be submerged in a liquid, and it will record the conductivity of that liquid. Um, a lot of times, pardon me, uh, if you want to test a liquid that adhesive, or I'm sorry, not adhesives, abrasives have been washed with to see what the, the conductivity is of that. I know there's a standard ASTM D4940 that talks about that. This can be used for that. You just take the solution or take the resultant liquid, dip the probe tip in. You don't want to go beyond the top of the white part here because your electronics and the circuit boards and stuff are in the probe, but uh, the gauge will display a conductivity from that. Um, what else did we have? How many times can the posi patch be reused? It's a very difficult question to answer. Essentially, the real answer is until it won't hold liquid anymore. Um, if you're using this on a very rough surface, the edges of the posi patch are going to be worn a little more quickly than if you're using it on a very flat surface. So uh, really, it's going to be up to the operator. Keep an eye on the patch. Make sure the edges are staying fairly in good shape. Um, and when they start to deteriorate from multiple uses, then maybe it's time to change it. But like I said, we had one example where a guy got 250 tests per patch. So um, the answer is you're, you're going to get a lot of uses out of them. Um, depending on the exact conditions that you're measuring on, it may, it's going to change that quite a bit. But uh, 10 is a very conservative estimate we use for our cost analysis, and it probably be more than that. Can the posi patch be used on vertical or inverted surfaces? Uh, yes, it works the same as an adhesive patch. So uh, as long as the surface is magnetic or is ferrous so that magnets will stick to it, uh, you can use the posi patch. Uh, the magnetic ring will stick upside down, sideways, uh, pretty much any way. And I can show you here. So, you know, here's a steel surface. Doesn't matter if I turn it this way or this way or this way. It sticks just like a regular patch. Um, what else do we have here? How often should the Positector SST be recalibrated? As we mentioned before, the Positector SST comes fully calibrated from DeFelsco with a long form certificate of calibration. Uh, we do not specify a recalibration interval, and our certificate of calibration does not have an expiration date. That being said, a lot of our customers do choose to have them recertified on an annual basis, and DeFelsco can provide that service for you. If you have any questions on that, you can check our website or give us a call and we can help you with that. So I think that concludes the questions that we have. As I said, my contact information will be displayed on the next page, as well as DeFelsco's phone number. If you do have any follow-up, please let us know. We hope you enjoyed this presentation. We will have a saved version of this webinar on our website shortly, and we will have another webinar coming out next month for part three in our webinar series. Again, my name was Jody. I thank you very much for joining us, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.